Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to the Idea Statica training session. In this episode I am going to design uh, RCC footing using Idea Statica version 24. Now I, my application is open. I click the steel connection. From topology, I just use that MPT and uh, just I want to fill out the project name. It's training episode number one, and the description is the design of RCC footing. I start my first operation. I go to the member. I select the member I like. In this case, I just uh, use the S S H S one hundred one hundred. And I want to rotate ninety degree vertical. And the second operation is I want to add some palette and anchor. Just I click the column and right click on my computer mouse and select my foot palette and anchor. Click OK. From here, I do some correction. I use the 16 millimeter anchor. Now I want to see from the top to do some correction. Seventy five from the top, offside from the top, seventy five, seventy five. And the length of my anchor is one hundred fifty. Also, I have twenty five millimeter, twenty five millimeter uh, offside. Layer to 250. I want to offside my concrete block in every di direction and thickness uh, 250. And the shear force, uh, the, the shear force will be uh, just we which we not on the friction, and shear force will be on the uh, anchors. The second option is the load. We can add some 155, 145 on shear, 155 on axle forces, and run or analyze. Now the design is passed, everything is green. Well, the one thing we are uh, missing is the anchor because the utilization is, uh, utilization is 132.9. And we can go to the 
and check and we check the result you can check the palette anchor and weld and as you see we have anchor a1 a2 uh, utilizes above our limitation I want to check the equilibrium stress the stress is completely fine I'll check the deformation also you can see all the result this shear forces moment and utilization is and uh, anchor calculation you can see in the table again I back to the, my design and this time I would like to export this to the idea static uh, concrete application I would like to design my footing and uh, concrete application to solve the problem of anchor now it's exported let's take a little bit time to open this soft software or application sorry you can see it's uh, now op open let's recheck the our footing again and concrete application I start with, with the size and the size is fine and you check the plate it's okay then next I move to the support everything is also correct here and uh, the third thing is uh, anchor and I search on my anchor uh, name and you, if you click on anchor you can in the right side you can see the coordination also from X and Y and we have a load everything is uh, correct uh, we do one more thing here we just add some rebar and from the rebar assembly just we click the assembly and we make some adjustment in both direction uh, river we have uh, on, on one one surface edge or more we select that and the river diameter 12 and the co uh, strength of my river according to the euro code it will be uh, 500 a and the concrete cover shape 60 it will be in the fourth phase 1 2 3 4 and the the divar will be f I select the 4 the distance is 250 15 yeah I add some other cover here, 
I want to copy this operation just I want to change the surface and concrete cover Now it's ready for calculation. Just I click the calculation. The calculation successfully passed. Everything is looking green. Just I want to check the uh, forces and stresses. Start with, with concrete strength. You can see the here also. You can see the concrete strength and reinforced strength and anchor strength and utilization. Also, I can go from the level. I can see with mesh to the stress and the strength. I check out my anchor. Anchor is fine. Also show the utilization. Also in the right side you can see the uh, the forces also. We can see the ratio of rebar here. We can see the stress, sigma n, sigma 2, and epsilon n, epsilon 2. Now I can print my structure. You can click which things you you want to add in your documentation and click the refresh as you look everything is now come to our documentation you can print it you can print it as a PDF and add in your documentation.